this. How about a 20 year tradition establishing a Tampa Bay's love for Shakespeare? Job site theater has done just that. And once again, it is time for another Shakespeare classic. And this time we're talking about Romeo and Juliet. Let's go ahead and bring in Romeo and Juliet, if you will. Darius and Kayla from Job Site are with us now. Good morning to the both of you. Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year. So I'm so excited to talk with you first. Uh, new to Job Site, we'll dive on into that in a second here. But Romeo and Juliet, I mean, such a classic. Yes, we all know the story, but I'm reading that there's a, a few little different takes on things, maybe on when it's set, maybe the different music. Kayla, we'll start with you. Explain to people how maybe this isn't just the average Romeo and Juliet that people may be familiar with. Yeah, of course. So we're setting um, it in the 80s. So that automatically makes it really fun with the, the costumes and the music of the production that we're going with. And then also setting it in a modern time, um, but not so modern that it feels, you know, we can still use escapism throughout mm -hmm. the show when we set it in the 80s and not 2020 mm -hmm. um and keeping the beautiful poetry that shakespeare wrote hundreds of years ago but making it accessible by modernizing it and modernizing the characters um so everyone can really see themselves as these hundred years old play in their own personal lives and Darius, we were started uh, talking when you first logged on here, and you were saying uh, just graduated uh, from school here. So one of your first, you know, professional productions there with Job Site. Have you ever been involved with Romeo and Juliet before? That you're able to see the differences, maybe even in the original music that this production offers. Yeah. So this is actually my third time tackling the scripts. I was lucky to do the show in college, uh, and then I understudied the show for another production company across the bridge and um, both were different interpretations of the story and the text. Um, and it, it, it's very nice to see a brand new job site interpretation of the text because job site has its own style and it's uh, they're very specific to their own style and it works and people love it. Um, so I am very excited to, to kind of continuously learn new things every day as we work on this production uh, as an ensemble. So it's been a, it's been a, like I said, a learning experience and filled with growth and collaboration. It's been great so far. Speaking of learning experiences, I want to throw this out there too. You even have uh, showings that are even focused on high schoolers. So you do in a way kind of give back and keep those lessons going for kids who are able to sit in the audience. Right. Yeah. And I think love is something that is universal and it's recognized by people of all ages and backgrounds and and um, history. And I think that, you know, job site trying to give back to the middle schoolers and the high schoolers in these weekday matinees are, are a great thing for the community. And oh. Yeah. For sure. You know, Kayla, I am curious, you know, getting to know job site over the course of, you know, six years since our show's been on the air and what they're able to do at the Straz and the theater community. I was reading what the cast includes 13 regional performers, newcomers like yourself. Kayla, talk about being a part of job site. If people have not been able to see a job site show, how they really are in for a treat. And we need to really take advantage of this as, as a community to visit the Straz and check one of these productions out. Yes, of course. And the beautiful part about Job Site and this cast is how it represents the community. Um, I mean, going back to the high school, middle school productions, too, it's so important to see yourself on stage and see yourself as these characters. And one thing I love about Job Site is they open that up to so many different types of people. Um, it's accessible theater, which is the most important kind of theater because the reason we do a show and a production is for the audience um so it's important that they see themselves on stage i love that accessible theater that's a really great term and uh in closing we want to point out january 19th through february 6th are the dates get your tickets now now i just got to touch on this you said it's in the 80s are we still getting sword fights and all of that fun 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. It was nice to meet the both of you. Likewise. Thank you so much.